In addition, means this quality or state of being empty, the absence or loss of social, and moral, or my, uh, intellectual vitality and vigor. It's the, you know, pastors, it's the chocolate bunny mentality. See, in order for my mom to be my mom, I have to have the biggest Easter basket there is. And in this Easter basket, there is this cardboard box, and it's got a little window, and there's a pink or yellow or green or blue bunny in there. And I'll unwrap it. I'll never forget the first chocolate bunny I ever got. I unwrapped it. I, it was laying naked in my hand. <laughs> and I said, I'm going to eat your face. <laughs> and I'm going to enjoy it. As I took a bite of that bunny, what did I realize? It was what? Sounds like a lot of us teenagers in this place, ain't it? You come to a camp like this, and you'll shed a few tears. You'll jump a little bit. You'll shout a little bit. You'll sing the songs. But you go home, and why do you fall apart? It's because there's nothing of substance on the inside of you. Why do you need to be filled with the Holy Spirit with evidence and speaking in tongues? Because God's got to fill you all the way full. Wait a second, if you're hollow, what happens is a little bit of pressure. People begin to come, maybe a boy or maybe a girl or maybe your friends begin to come and put a little pressure on you. And what happens when you're hollow? You collapse. Yeah. Wow. Oh, but when you're full, they can jump on you. And you don't break. Why? Because there's something on the inside of you. It's not about talking in tongues, stupid. <laughs> it's about the Holy Spirit consuming every part of you from your feet to your head. And you're so full that it's flowing out of your mouth. And as you're up here, you're crying out and out of these tongues. You're feeling up and you're feeling up. And where you once began to break and where you once collapsed because you were once hollow, you no longer fall for what you once fell for. Why? Because you're now full. See, to answer the question of why did God record these names in this book is because Jesus wants you to know that he's watching you. See, you better watch out. You better not lie. You better live good. I'm telling you why. Jesus Christ is coming real soon. He sees you when you're sinning. He knows when you're a fake. He knows when you've been bad or good, so be good for your own sake. He's making a list and checking it twice. Going to find out who's living the life. Jesus Christ is coming real soon.